All right, guys, it's a cold sunny day here. We've got uh, a couple batteries and jump pack and some battery cables. We're gonna go pick up something. So I got this truck and I got a little trailer over there both. Um, supposedly it ran a few years ago. We're going to throw some new batteries in it. Check some fluids out and then see if she'll fire up. Good thing about more battery cables. First rodeo. Right here. Long one to go across to two. I don't want to do that. Negative. got two new military batteries in it's 24 volts so we got negative here going from positive to negative and then 24 going out there got a full tank of uh, fuel so we'll check some other fluids under the hood and see what's going on. all right we're gonna check oil on this dude no multi-fuel Plenty of oil in it. Let's get that back in there. I think they said the uh, fan belts broke on it last time they run it, which I see no fan belts. Probably a good indication. I see any cooling in there I don't see any that's optional when it's 10 degrees out we need to make sure this fuel rack's not stuck before you go thrashing on it here you've not hit the gas pedal yet have you don't hit the gas pedal 
could be. Huh? Does the kill cable work? Alright. Huh? Um the transfer case in high range. Pull all the way up. You kill wanna them. put it in fifth gear? Yeah. And then kill them. Fifth gear's up here in case yeah. it tries to run away. Don't we have, have no power. Here. I got a button here. We got power. Let me see if the fuel pump's working here. Hold on. Let's see if we got a buzz over here in the tank. I hear it running. You get ready. If that thing tries to take off, you're going to have to uh, dump the clutch. Okay. You ready? ready? Yeah. I got this little uh, little old green Jeep trailer here too. We're gonna hook the winch cable up on it. Try to pull her up the trailer. Forward, I think I can roll it up to you. and pull her up the winch other way
a little bit more. That's probably close enough. All right, we got her all loaded. We're gonna get her chained in. All right, got her all loaded up, chained down. We're gonna tape the boomers up, head back to the shop. I made her back to the shop, getting her unchained. I'm gonna set the tail, the tail down on the trailer. Hurry, right, come down. Yep. Is the uh, tongue of that trailer all right? Do what? The tongue all right on that trailer? Yeah. Out. Yeah. This big, big load here. Come on out a little more. All right, that's good. Sure, they can manhandle it. Over 
Everybody needs a Jeep trailer. What year is this one? 1952. A couple days old. It's actually in pretty good shape. Got some surface rust. And when that plate was from last, it's pretty old. Four hundred and eighty pounds empty. Pretty cool. You don't see too many old ones in that kind of shape anymore. If you guys are interested in this, definitely let me know. I'll have the email in the description below. That thing is for sale. You don't know what I'm gonna do with this water truck either. Or fuel truck, whatever it was, water tanker truck. I'm gonna park it out here too. It does run there. They might make a water truck for the track or something. It's hard to tell. Them. We're gonna get her unloaded. Fire right up. There's no brakes on that truck, so you gotta be careful. Probably got it low range. Got a hole in the J pipe down there. We got new ones in stock. Park her over here. Park right there for now. We don't have much anyway, so. Say she's froze up today. It's empty. Pretty good shape. Front 600 gallons, rear 600 gallons. No valves to open and close them. Looks like she's working. Check that back. Controls there. Got a hose. All kinds of goodies. Somebody's done a little bit of wiring on it. You can come with a bunch of fire hoses. This truck looks like it's a 1968 model, I believe, according to the serial number. He's in a hurry. Got the old non-spring ride seat. The later ones had the uh, spring ride seat. Got a heater in it. Air shift transfer case. Pretty basic, but they work. If you guys like this kind of stuff let me know in the comments both these things will be for sale or are for sale so there'll be an email in the description you guys can uh, shoot us an email if you guys are interested so it's a pretty clean little jeep trailer that'd be uh let's say it's a 1952 so it's going to fit behind any of the little jeeps or the m37 something like that so um definitely give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff and we'll keep on putting content out we'll see you guys next time